Hello beautiful people, it's Nita and today we are talking about how to style your chunky boots for the winter season. So if you need some styling tips, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Before we get into the styling portion of the video, I did want to share with you guys the chunky boots that I have and that I will be styling up today. You may be like me, whereas when the chunky boot trend first came about, I was not a fan. I was not into it. I did not understand why the girls want to wear these boat type of shoes on their feet. I was just not here for it. <laughs> However, as usual, the more you see people wearing it and you see different styles, you're like, you know what? I think I might like that. I think they might be cute because that's what happened to me. <laughs> That's honestly how I came to have the boots that I do own. So yeah, if you're like me and you were not into the chunky boot trend, or maybe if you've been thinking about it, I would encourage you guys to just, there are so many different styles of chunky boots out there. There are ones that are sleeker, like sleeker combat boots, sleeker love sole boots. And if you do like the chunkier boot, there are definitely those options out there as well. So the first thing that I had to do was just find and identify the types of chunky boots that I enjoyed. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you first the ones that I own and that I love. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into the styling portion of the video. So this is the first pair. These are from Nine West. And um, I got these actually as a part of a sponsorship I did with the Nine West, but you guys know I love their stuff. And I picked these up because I loved the details on the back, the chains and the pearls. These are the chunkiest boots I own, but I do like these. I do have these in a size nine, but I will recommend to size down. I definitely could have done an eight or an eight and a half. However, they're very comfortable and I just love the pearl detailing and the chains on these. They're very comfortable and love these. So my next pair of boots are these Gucci boots. You guys know I love these boots. Um, I'm only sharing one because I actually have the other one on right now. I took this off just to share with you guys. Um, but yeah, um, these were a pretty penny and I know that Steve Madden has a dupe. So I'll have them both linked down below. But I love these boots. I've worn the heck out of them as you can see by the creasing. And yeah, they are very comfortable. And this was actually my first pair of lug sole boots and I've worn the heck out of these which is what inspired me to get the other pair from Nine West. But yeah, this pair, love, love, love. And last but certainly not least, you guys know I'm a heel girl. So I did go ahead and pick up these boots, okay? I'll be styling these today. I did get these from Zara last year. So I will link a few in the description box that are similar to this. But um, like I said, you guys know I love a heel. So when I saw these, I had to pick them up. Now, I know you may be thinking, girl, that heel is chunky, it's big, but it is actually very, very comfortable. So I do like these, I do enjoy these, and yeah. So these are the three pair of boots that I will be styling today. So let's get into the styling portion of today's video. So for this first look, I thought to just keep it very simple and basic with jeans and a button down t-shirt because you can never go wrong with that. And it's an outfit that you don't really have to overthink. Um, the shirt that I'm wearing in this clip is from Target. The jeans are from Express. You guys know I love Express jeans. And then I did pair it with the heeled boots that I got from Zara. Now the reason that I chose to do the heeled boots with this look is because sometimes with jeans I feel like if I wear flat boots it, depending on what kind of boot it is, I feel like it will make me look even shorter than I am. I'm five foot two, I'm already short. So for this look, I felt like the heel would make my legs look a little bit longer and it would help to elongate me rather than the other boots that I have. I feel like it made me look shorter and more stumpy and I just wasn't here for that. So yeah, that's why I chose to do this boot. I went ahead and paired it with, I think I did my Tory Burch bag because I love that one um, in the clip. I think I did. Um, also, I wanted to throw on my hat. I just forgot, but I love to throw on a hat with this look. You could also throw a blazer over this look as well. You could do so many things with this look, but I feel like this is something that's simple, easy, and classic to throw on. You don't have to put a lot of thought into it. Throw it on and you're out the door. And again, I can't stress enough that these shoes are very, very comfortable. So if I can find them on the Zara website, I will link them down below. But if not, again, I will have something similar um, some other options for you guys to shop in the description box below. This next look is something again that is very simple and it is a shacket. You guys know if you follow me on any of my social media platforms how much I love this Amazon shacket. It is just so easy to throw on over jeans and a t-shirt, black on black like I have here. I've worn it over dresses. They're just easy and they're great for this cooler weather that we're getting right now. 
For this look, I did go ahead and pair with the Gucci boots because of the gold detail and the all black. I thought it would look great with this. The tights that I'm wearing are from Rainbow. I've had them for many years. This turtleneck, I don't remember where I got that from as well. I think maybe Target, but you know, you can find a simple black turtleneck anywhere. We went ahead and threw my shacket on from Amazon. And then that hat is from Amazon as well. You guys know I love a hat. You don't have to wear the hat, but I just love hats. And yeah, this simple look, again, is something you can just throw on. Um, if you don't like tights in a t-shirt, you could also throw this over jeans in a t-shirt. You could throw this over a dress and you can do the same lug sole boots as well. This is another just simple, easy outfit that you can do with your chunky boots and it's just instantly, effortlessly cute. So for this next look, I kept on the same tights and turtleneck and we amped it up a little bit with the blazer, my new favorite hats, and I kept on the same Gucci boots. You guys, I love this outfit so much. Um, I've already worn it three times before recording this video and I get a million compliments every time I wear it. I love, love, love this outfit. So again, the uh, Gucci boots, the tights are from Rainbow that I've had for many years. The turtleneck, don't remember where it's from. This blazer is from Target. I did get it last year, but I'm sure I can find something similar to link down below for you guys. Y'all know how much I love Houndstooth and I just love this blazer, okay? The belt is from Express. I've had this for a few years, but I will link something uh, in the description box that's similar as well. And this hat is from Amazon. I think I shared with you guys in a few videos back that I got this hat. I call it a conductor hat. I'm not quite sure what the technical name for it is or the style name for it is, but I've seen them on other people and I was just curious how it would look on me. So I ordered this one just to see and I have worn the heck out of this hat, okay? So in all honesty, this, this uh, whole look was styled with this hat in mind. So <laughs> that was my inspiration for this look. So this is giving me chic, it's giving me comfortable, yet a little bit edgy with the hat. I just love this and this is another outfit that was very simple you don't have to think about it throw a blazer over it especially if you have an oversized blazer you can always put a belt at the waist to kind of cinch in that blazer throw a hat on it doesn't have to be this hat or you don't have to do a hat if you're not a hat girl but yeah this is another simple easy way to wear your boots let me know you guys thoughts in the comments down below this next look is another one of my favorites. And when I shared this on Instagram, it was a favorite of you guys' as well. And it is this beautiful outfit that I love so, 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 so much. I need to wear it again. I haven't worn it again yet. But um, I put this look together around the boots and the, the bustier. I think that's what it's called. That faux leather bustier I got from Eloquy a couple of months ago. Um, I was just on their website yesterday. I believe it is still in stock, but you guys, I love this piece. I have another bustier similar to this in a camel color that I got from them last year, and I wore the heck out of that thing. So when I saw this in black, I was like, yep, go ahead and add to cart. I've got to have it, okay? <laughs> so I put this look together around those two pieces. The boots are from Nine West. The jeans are from Express. Um, the bustier, again, is from Eloquy that I love so much. The button down, not quite sure I had it for a while. Hat from Amazon, which we love. And then the coat, I have had that coat in my wardrobe for a while. It's from H&M, but I will link something similar down below, or I'm sure you guys have a black coat such similar to that. Now, surprisingly, this bag is also from Nine West. And I love that tweed bag. I think it's super cute. And again, the silver hardware on the bag, I thought looked really nice with the silver hardware and the pearls on the shoes. <sighs> I just love this look, you guys, but leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And again, I will have everything linked in the description box for you guys to shop this look. So for this next look, I have seen a lot of ladies style these types of chunky boots with dresses. If I'm honest, it's not really my thing. However, um, I did go ahead and put together this look and I really do like this one. So this is a sweater dress that I got from I think I got it from Target a couple of years ago, but it's just a long sweater dress and I paired it with the boots from Zara with the heel. Again, I think it's the dress or something like that with the flat boot that gives me that, I feel like it makes me look stump, stumpy and I just don't like that. So anything that I put on the chunky boot with and I feel like it's making me look short, I go ahead and pull out this boot because I feel like it gives me a longer look. It could just be me, I don't know, but it works for me, sis. Let me know your thoughts down below. But I did go ahead and pair this with my faux leather jacket from Express and then I put on my favorite little hat from Amazon and that completed this look. But again, let me guys know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you guys wear your dresses with the chunky boots or is that your thing or not? 
like I said, for me, I like it on other people, but when I've tried it, every time I feel like I just look super short and stumpy. So that's not really my vibe, but I do like it with the uh, heeled boot a lot better. I, I do enjoy that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. All right, babe, so I am curious to know if you guys are into the chunky boot trend, if you've tried them, if you like them. And then I also wanna know if you like the lug sole boots like me, are you into more of the super um, chunky wider boots like the Bottegas or the Doc Martens? Let me know in the in the comments down below what's your go-to type of chunky boot or if you're like, girl, I'm not feeling it like I was before I found these that I do enjoy. If you're not a fan, I would just highly encourage you to try out some different types of boots. What encouraged me to try them was just number one, seeing it on other people and number two, the fact that I needed some comfortable boots. Y'all know I'm a heel girl, but I can't wear heels all day, every day. So I did want something that was a bit more comfortable yet cute and practical, okay? So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Again, make sure you check the description box down below for links to everything that I've shared with you guys in today's video, as well as the sizing that I'm wearing in the items. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the Nita Danielle. I have also finally created a Poshmark where you can shop my closet. Nothing's on it yet, but it will be coming soon. It will be linked in the description box as well. And make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the content, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.